Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to import and visualize the S3 shapefile into Google Earth Pro. So let's get started. So in this video we are going to import our S3 shapefile into Google Earth Pro. So I am going to import the specific files. Let me show you that. So these are the specific files I am going to import into the Google Earth Pro. So this is the district shapefile uh, shapefile. Now let us visualize this shapefile using RGIS. So this is an RGIS uh, software package. Now let me add this uh, shapefile into RGIS. So go to the option called add data. Now let me click add data. So now let me select the shapefile. So shapefile name is Tamil Nadu. So click the shapefile called Tamil Nadu. Let me click add. So now I have added the Tamil Nadu shapefile into RGIS. So this is the shapefile we are going to import into Google Earth Pro. So let's get started. So this is the Google Earth Pro interface. So here we're going to import our uh, import our Tamil Nadu shapefile into Google Earth Pro. So to import our uh, shapefile into Google Earth Pro, go to the option called Files and click the option called Import. So now let me select. So so now I have navigated to my shapefile folder. So I have navigated to my folder. Suppose if you uh, cannot see any uh, files or uh, if suppose if no files have been visual, visual, you cannot be able to visualize it. So go to the option call. So now select S3 shape file. So now you can visualize the different S3 shape file available in this specific folder. So now let me select my folder, my shape file called Tamil Nadu. So I have selected the shape file called Tamil Nadu. Now let me click OK. So now it is asking whether to apply the style template to our feature we have imported. So let me click S. So here we have our different uh, district name in this specific uh, in this specific shape file. So these are the different uh, district name in this specific uh, shape file. So now in name section, now let me select the name. Set a name field. Let now uh, let me click select the specific uh, field called D name. So I've selected the D name. So it is highlighted here. So now let me select a color for it. So you can choose a variety of color options being available here. You can set a color from field. So you can select a color from this specific field. So you can also select use a single color. So you can select a single color for entire shape file. And also you can select a random color. So in this video I'm going to show you set a color from a field. So now select a color field. So I'm going to select this specific field called D name. So selected this field D name. So palette uh, start color. So you can choose your uh, starting color. Now let me click this option red. Now click OK. And similarly in color. I'll click the in color as green. Now let me click OK. So here the color scheme has been indicated in this way. Starting from red to yellow to green. So here let me expand this folder. So here it is indicated in different colors. For each of the district has been indicated in different colors or the shades from uh, red to green. So now uh, to view the visualize this, so go to the option called click OK. So here is another option called height. So there is a, we don't go, we're not going to use that specific thing. So click OK. So now let us, uh, so we have to save our style templates. So let me click the save. So I've saved my time style template. So now uh, we cannot visualize any uh, shape file here. So we can go to the option called in this section called places. So click the specific layer. So we have imported the specific shape file called Tamil Nadu. So let me click this. So now we can visualize our shape file here. So this is our Tamil Nadu state of India. So here we have a different uh, district has been highlighted in a variety of colors starting from red to yellow. So each of the district has been represented in the specific color, specific shades of uh, shades starting from red to green. So here we have the state called Chennai. Suppose if you want to visualize this to view the name of the specific state, you can click, click this uh, states. So here it is represented as Chengalpet. And it also, you can also click here. So it is represented the district name as Chennai. And similarly here it is represented as so here the district has been represented as Thiruvannamalai and suppose if you have a population density data in your shape file you can also import that population density data so you can also visualize the density population density data in uh, Google Earth Pro 
So you can import your population density data into your shape file and import into uh, import into this uh, Google Earth Pro and visualize the different population density. So suppose you can also click this red color for the highest population density and green from green cup for the lowest population density. In this way you can visualize the different population density for the different districts in this specific state called Tamil Nadu. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, import our S3 shape file into uh, Google Earth Pro. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.